So Michelle, we're in a slightly older greenhouse now, and I'm wondering what are some things that you have done or that you could do to make this more energy efficient? We did a few things. In this older greenhouse, we, we hanged a second screen. Instead of one screen inside, we have two. And that makes it we can perfectly coordinate temperature and light. So less waste of energy. It's all energy coming in. Second part is we use whitewash. Another point to get the heating out for the shadow plant. And uh, with getting the heating out, with the whitewash on the uh, glazings, that makes sure that it's not coming in. So we don't need to uh, waste a lot of energy to get it out. So the whitewash is one way, a good way to, uh, to be sustainable, to be more sustainable. Um, a point of this uh, uh, concrete floor is also uh, a nice thing to know is that in a concrete floor there's bottom temperature. And the bottom temperature, as we all know, heat goes up. Mm -hmm. So um, it's the most efficient way for heating is down, under the plants. We only use roughly 30 Celsius, which is less than 90 Fahrenheit, Fahrenheit. Yeah. to heat the greenhouse. The most heat is coming from the bottom. It's going up, like all heat does. So that's better than heating from above, because getting the heating down, it costs more energy. Nice thing about the new greenhouse, we even have an outside screen there. And it doesn't seem very cheap, but in the end, it's more efficient, more cost-friendly, and more sustainable. Same as the whitewash on the glazings. It keeps the sun, uh, keeps the sun straightings out, and avoids, like 28% the, like was the last measurement, uh, the temperature goes down. So you, don't, you need to cool less. With less cooling, we reach our, uh, reach our result. At the same time, we have more growing speed. So the same place, we can grow more products. So that all together makes it cheaper to grow there than to grow mm -hmm. there. And the advantage, uh, added advantage of the external shading system is that when you have a cloudy day, you don't have to have the white wash, the white wash is not there. Exactly. So you're not shading on a cloudy day, you're only shading when you really need to. And that is nice because we have to heat less on a cloudy day. Mm -hmm. Because with double clouds, it's getting real cool inside. Yeah. And that's what we don't need. Okay, great, thank you.